right, so I'm going to show how to open up and disassemble <clears throat> this Dell Inspiron 13 5379 2-in-1. So first thing we're going to do is use a PH1 or JS1 screwdriver and remove all the screws. You want to keep them in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. The way I do that is I put the flat side down like that on my desk and put them in the pattern that I remove them. So you can see it goes like this and then you got like those. So you just put them in that same pattern. So two at the top and then... You, if you want, you can put three in the center and then four at the bottom. Um, whatever way helps you remember best. You can put it in the exact same pattern where these don't line up and things like that. Um, whatever helps. All right. This is a good skill to have to keep and memorize all where all the screws are. In this case, all the bottom screws are the same, but it's always a good idea to keep them in order just in case there is this uh, one random screw um, that's different and you didn't pay attention and then if, if you mess that up you're gonna have issues but anyways um, if this video helps you make sure to like subscribe and share my channel with others so that they can also learn how to upgrade and repair their devices if it helps you save a bunch of money please consider contributing to the channel so that others um, so that I can continue doing this for a living um, I actually do these repairs for a living but um, as I continue to put out these videos, more people can repair them themselves. Anyways, we're going to remove this bottom cover, so just get in this gap. I use my fingers here, and then I push with my thumb or palm here, and pull up, just like that. So you can see, and then you kind of flex the case inwards like this, and that helps pull these clips out. And then you kind of swing this up, kind of wiggle this around, and this should pop off, just like that. So I already opened this and cleaned this. Um, I'm not going to disconnect everything. These kinds of connectors, the battery connector here. Um, usually if you're going to work with the screen cables up here, you want to disconnect the battery, open the computer, and then press and hold the power button for about 10 to 15 seconds. I'm not going to mess with that. I'm just going to um, clean up the keyboard connector here. But um, it's trapped under the battery, so let's go ahead and undo the battery screws. So the battery model is WDX0R if you need to replace that. Again, keep all these screws in order. I'm just going to do a quick look inside because my customer needs their computer back real quick. Um, so yeah, uh, there's two RAM slots here. The RAM is underneath these two uh, pieces. Actually, they're only using one stick, <clears throat> but there are two slots. So if you want, you can add another stick, pull these two tabs to the side, this thing pops up, then you can take the RAM out. And here you can see PC4 2400T. So you can put any PC4 2400T, this is an 8 gig stick. If you want, you can get another 8 gig stick to match, or you can get two 16 gig sticks. If you want, you can put a 16 and an 8, but then you'll have a little bit less um, speed performance because of the uneven sticks of RAM. All right, anyways, we took out the screws for the battery, so let's go ahead and lift the battery up, and I'm just going to swing it out of the way. Normally, you would pull this connector out by kind of wiggling these edges um, where the plastic connector is to slowly pull it out, but I'm leaving it. You got the keyboard backlight cable, keyboard cable. You got the trackpad cable. You got this cable here for the LED on the front, okay? Speaker, both speakers are connected here. Same thing, you grab the wings and you can kind of wiggle this and eventually it'll pop out. You got the DC jack or charge port connector up here. CPU is soldered to the board. You got the LCD and touchscreen connectors here as well as the camera, it's integrated. Um, wireless card, one screw there. You got this um, cable for the motherboard to the I.O. board here, which is for the SD card slot and the USB port. Got the BIOS CMOS uh, RTC real-time clock battery here. Just same kind of connector. You got this for the power button and the volume buttons. Same kind of connectors. You just wiggle that and pull it back. And then you got a two and a half inch SATA hard drive held in with two screws here. If you don't know how to remove those, um, just watch all my other videos. It's basically the same thing. Take the screws out. You can lift this up. Remove the four screws from this tray. Put it on the new hard drive. It looks like there's already an SSD in here. Um, if you don't have an SSD, I highly recommend upgrading to an SSD. This connector, you can kind of wiggle and pull it back. If you're not sure, if you're not careful, um, you might want to pull this connector up first, which this is just a pull straight up tab. But um, usually I would leave this connected to the motherboard and then I would kind of just pry this off using my fingernail pulling here and then using the back of my thumb there. All right, so I'm just gonna check the keyboard connection because they were having issues with their keyboard. I moved it and then all the keys except one, uh, all of them were working except for one of them. Um, so now I'm just gonna check and confirm, try and clean these connectors off, all right, just like that. And then we're gonna pull this back, get this back in. All right, so all these little connectors are 
down here are basically the same. The tabs are on different size, but you basically um, want to pull that tab up and then latch it down. So this cable is kind of going in slightly crooked here, and that could be why it's having issues with some of the keys. So I'm gonna just hold it in place and then push that latch down. And it keeps actually going crooked. So I need to find a way to bend this in a way that it stays correct. So I might actually add some tape to this. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and add some tape to hold this better. Because if we don't, it's going to end up coming back out and then we're going to have the same issues. So I'm going to grab some tape here. Okay. Don't need much tape. And I'm also going to make a release tab. So I cut a piece of tape like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold over a piece of this so that we can use it as a release tab. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape this on here. And then I'm going to pull this piece of tape in. And oops, I might not have lined that up right. So hold that down. I want to make sure I got it enough that it can stick down. All right, pull that over and then flip that latch down and then just tape that over the top and that should hold that in place. We're going to swing the battery back over and then we're just going to put the four screws back in. So hopefully this video was useful to you guys. It was just a quick look inside um, to kind of show what is repairable, what's upgradable. Um, the charge port, if you need to remove it, there is a screw. Yeah, there is a screw holding it as well as the hinge on top. So if you pull the hinge back, you can actually um, you can actually pull the the charge port out pretty easily. All right. So anyways, I get all these screws back in, and let's go ahead and put the bottom cover back on. Let's zoom out. All right. So to put the bottom cover, you've got to get the bottom down here in first. Make sure to get that lined up. All right. Once you get that, go ahead and swing it down. Click all of that into place. And then we'll just put back all these screws. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Again, if this video helped you, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel so that others can learn how to upgrade and repair their computers. This was just a really quick look inside. If you want to see um, how to actually pull out the components, um, just watch a few of my other videos. Um, since my customer's waiting outside for their computer, I didn't want to take the extra time and the risk to pull out all the other components. Um, so yeah, and then if this video helped you save a bunch of money, again, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps, even a dollar is greatly appreciated and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. All right, but other than that, we're just going to put back all the rest of these screws. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. You're welcome to stay. I'll put the rest in, but that's pretty much it. All right, let's drop this bite.